everybody, welcome back to The Hobby Musician. Today I've got a super quick video for you and it's going to serve as kind of a check-in episode for our latest building project. Now if you've been following along that's great, but if you haven't checked out the entire process we did to build this guitar out of shipping pallets, click the link at the top right now that'll open up a playlist where you can see every episode including the grand finale. Um, when we did the big reveal, I did playing demos, I talked about the whole process, the things I learned. I also ended by talking about the pros and cons, and I was very specific. We built a matched set. We built this four string bass and we built a five string bass. And in that grand finale episode, I talked about the fact that when it all came down to the end, I was able to get the five string set up, intonated, in playing shape. But there were, I, I was just disappointed with the four string. There was nothing I could do to get the intonation to be correct. Um, I moved the bridge a little bit. I was doing different things. And just no matter what I did, I couldn't get this to play. So I talk about the fact that I was disappointed. I set out with a building project and some of it worked, but another part of it didn't work. Well, today's episode, I am proud to announce I have finally fixed it. I want to give you an idea. We're about six months of real time. Now I know internet time and real chronological time don't always match up, uh, and depending on whenever you're watching this, but from the moment of fin the, finishing that build, it's been about six months. I had to just put this down. I had to walk away. I was very invested in that project. I, it meant a lot to me to build these instruments, and so it was a disappointment. I needed some time to cool down. So I was able to get that time. And after about six months, I was working on other projects. You know, uh, life kind of um, came in. I was taking care of different things. I finally got to the point where I felt okay. I said, you know what? Let me take another crack at it. So I am happy to announce that it took multiple kind of weekends of devoting a few hours each weekend to make a little progress here and there. But the big key points, the takeaways from that is what I wanted to share with you. Now, I know that it's probably... Um, a little too far away to see, but if you look down here, and I'll, I'll put up a big uh, blow up of this picture, I was able to fix the intonation problem by moving, systematically moving and taking off this bridge and moving it. I, I still, to this point, don't know exactly why I wasn't able. I don't know why the measurements I had, you know, it didn't work the first time. But all I know is that between the adjustments that this particular bridge allows me to make, you know, the, the screws on the bottom here can move these saddles backwards and forwards. Well, there's a limited range on that that I, I wasn't exactly expecting. So I just had to keep moving the bridge and you can kind of see now there's some visually exposed holes. These are some of the original um, mounting holes where I had the bridge the first time. Well, there was no adjustment that was going to get it intonated, uh, intonated correctly, so I had to take it off, drill new holes, and move it. And um, after doing that a couple of times, I was finally able to get the main bridge into a place where now, with the adjustment range that I had access to, all four strings. At any point, I could get one or two or sometimes three strings intonated, but I couldn't get them all. Um, so finally, when I got them into this spot, uh, all of them are, are now finally intonated. Well, it took a long time. Now, you know, you, there's holes in here. So that's just kind of one of these examples that I want to share with you. If you're out there as another hobby musician kind of going on these journeys, it's okay if something doesn't quite work out. It's okay to get frustrated. It's okay to take time. It's okay to come back and finally get this um, to where you wanted, to where you envisioned it the whole time. Now, that on its own makes this playable. I love how it sounds. Uh, now I love how it plays. Um, but there was one other thing that in that six month gap, I continued to watch tutorials and I continued to learn more about instrument building. And I discovered that there were some improvements or different ways that I could carve necks. So the second thing I did, which there wasn't really anything wrong with it in the first place, but I'll turn this around, I actually recarved this neck um, as kind of a, a process, as an add-on to what I was doing with the bridge. Um, so um, you'll see in this time lapse, I went out and I kind of used this, this um, 
faceting method where I would I measured and I drew lines on here at halfway and then I did halfway from the halfway point and if you go half by half by half by half you can actually shave off with that angle grinder you can shave off little by little just facets and the more facets you shave off the more you know rounded the surface becomes and then finally I came back refinished it with the sandpaper and then reapplied uh, the finishing oil, the true oil that we used. Um, and again, like I was saying, that wasn't necessary, but it was just something I was already doing work on it. I said, you know what, I'll try. And as it finished, I actually liked the curve uh, even better than I liked it before. So, you know, without anything else to, uh, to talk about, I just wanted to pop back in and give you this little update on where we were with this project. So, um, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this episode. I hope you got something out of this whole build series. And until next time, play on, my friends. Play on.